Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. My name is Christian and today we're here to talk about the new record from Steven Wilson. It is titled To The Bone. This is his fifth studio record, solo record that is, and the follow-up to 2015's Hand Cannot Erase. Now, I've been a big, big fan of Steven Wilson for a long time. I got into his old band Porcupine Tree. Uh, about five or six years ago, and from there I just became a cr progressive rock fanatic. I'm now the main songwriter in a progressive rock band. I listen to so, so much of it. So many new bands, so many old bands, and Stephen Wilson has always been at the top of the list of progressive artists for me. And in fact, his record, The Raven That Refused to Sing, is actually my favorite album of all time. That's right, I said all time. So. Going into this new record, I was just excited. I loved Hand Cannot Erase, I loved Four and a Half, the little mini EP he put out last year. And when the first single started coming out and everybody was complaining about his new direction, it kind of, it didn't make a lot of sense to me because when has Steven ever let us down? I can't believe that this far into a man's career, as soon as he puts out a song like Permanating, people just go and write him off completely instead of giving him the benefit of the doubt because as I said, when has he ever let us down? And To The Bone continues a trend of absolutely terrific Stephen Wilson records. I love this record so much. The first time I heard it, I went, yeah, that was good. But on every single listen after that, I've just heard more and more intricate things throughout the record. And now I just love it. I love every single song on here. So I guess let's just get straight into it. On this record, Stephen Wilson once again shows why he is the master of progressive music and he can really take on any style that he desires and absolutely nail it. On each record he takes what he did on the previous one and expands upon that while still adding a unique tone to the new record. He's probably the most consistent artist on the planet. And again, this is a journey record, one that you want to sit down and just spend an hour listening to start to finish. Hearing individual songs on their own really don't complement the songs perfectly. You really should be listening to them in order, sitting down in one sitting. In fact, when I was writing this review, even though I've listened to this record multiple times, I was gonna listen to half, write half the review, go have a break, and then come back and do the rest. But this record just captured you in such a great way, I just couldn't stop listening to it, and so I ended up listening to the whole record. Um, this record is incredible, and so let's get into some more of the tracks and some more of the instrumentation and musicianship. Pariah was the very first single released from this record and what a terrific song it is. It's absolutely astonishing. It captured me from the first first note uh, on the very first listen and the song just builds so, so well. Nanette's vocals in the choruses are absolutely massive. I love that big, big note going into the bridge. It sounds awesome. I can't wait to hear this song live. I hope Lynette goes back out on tour with Steven. Maybe she'll come out to Sydney this time because she didn't on the head and cannot erase tour. Something I also love about this song is Steven Wilson's performance. It's very reserved and a bit quiet. It just suits the, the tone of this track so, so well. So just a terrific song overall. The Same Asylum as before is another one of my favorites on this record. It's got a really great old school feel to it and the chorus sounds absolutely massive. And it feels like it's gonna be straight up for the entirety of the track and then just takes a big left turn to this dark, heavy, progressive section that just elevates this track to another level. This record does have a poppier sensibility to it. The song sounds simpler, but once you delve into the tracks, really listen out for the little intricacies that are woven in throughout it, you really start to hear the technicality and the musicianship. Again, Stephen Wilson has a great way of structuring songs where you really never know what's coming next. Song of I is probably the darkest track on the record, features Sophie Hunger on vocals as well, and this, darker track really gives me the feeling of a song like Index that you would have heard on Grace for Drowning. There's lots of electronics, very minimal instrumentation, and Sophie Hunger's guest vocals on this track really suit it well. Uh, it's a different vocal style to Nanette, who is a bit more of a belter, really hits those high notes great, whereas Sophie Hunger really stays in her mid-range and it, again, suits the tone of this track perfectly. There are some absolutely massive vocal passages that go all the way throughout this record, especially when the vocals are layered and it sounds like a million people are singing at you. You can really hear that on songs like Same Asylum as Before and People Who Eat Darkness. And Steven has never sounded better as a vocalist. He keeps adding new techniques 
to his voice. Again, you can hear that on the song Same Asylum as before, and also on the track Refuge. Terminating is a song that is a big contender for my favorite song on this record. It's such a different style of track for Stephen Wilson, and he absolutely nails it. The vocals are so catchy, they will be stuck in your head for weeks, and the instrumentation backs up those vocals perfectly. It's a song that old Stephen Wilson fans are gonna need to hear within the context of the record, because within the context of the record, it makes a lot of sense, but if you just hear it on its own, old Stephen Wilson fans may be put off. The guitar work throughout this record is phenomenal, and there are some great guitar solos that are woven throughout each track, especially on, again, the same asylum as before and to the bone, and every guitar solo is used to elevate the track. I also love the use of piano throughout this record. Piano has always been a major part of Stephen Wilson's sound, but here is brought even more to the forefront, especially on the tracks Nowhere Now, Song of Unborn, and on Terminating. I also love the use of unconventional instrumentation on this record, especially the use of harmonica. You can hear that on the songs To the Bone and on Refuge. It's such a different element to have in a record and they use it perfectly. People Who Eat Darkness, however, is my favorite track on this record. It's such a different tone from the rest of the record. It's way more upbeat. There's a really, really great groove to it. And in my opinion, the chorus is the biggest on the entire record. This track is gonna sound absolutely massive live. Again, Nanette being on that chorus makes it even bigger. Again, I hope she goes out on tour with Steven on this record because I just can't wait to hear that track live. This track is just so proggy yet simplistic and I love that balance. Again, there is a great use of female vocal all the way throughout the record, not just on the songs that have the featured title on them, like on Pariah, like on Blank Tate and like on Some of I. There are more female vocals on this record than are seen in the track listing. You can hear Nanette on songs like Permanating and People Who Eat Darkness. And for those Stephen Wilson fans who are worried that the long, expansive songs are gone forever, you've got the track Detonation on this record, which is really the only really long song that we needed. If there were any more, it may have felt out of place. And production-wise, this record has been produced impeccably. Everything sounds great. All the effects used are just used to enhance each section rather than cover up any flaws. Nothing is overdone or overproduced. I don't know any other word to describe it other than beautiful. This record just sounds beautiful from start to finish. This record is also an hour long and it doesn't feel anywhere near that long. This is one of those records that you chuck on, it'll end and you'll be like, fuck, I felt, feel like that was 20 minutes. I could have easily sat there and listened to this record for another two hours. And I did. Overall, this is another terrific record from Stephen Wilson. He just continues to get better and better. Now, this record isn't above The Raven That Refused to Sing for me, but I do prefer it over Hand Cannot Erase. As I said, The Raven That Refused to Sing is my favorite record of all time, so it's always gonna take something pretty spectacular to top that. But that's not any detriment to this record. This record is absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite records of this year, and I just can't wait for more and more Stephen Wilson music for however long he keeps doing it. My top three tracks are gonna be People Who Eat Darkness, Permanating, and Pariah, and I'm gonna give this record a four and a half out of five. Anyway, what did you guys think about the record? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Did you like the record? Did you not like the record? Let me know down below. We're here to have a conversation about music, so let's do that. But if you're just gonna fill up the comment section with hate and insults, just know I'm gonna read your comments and laugh at how pathetic your life is. Anyway, thanks for watching my video today, guys. Please hit subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Fresh Currents.